If you watch any of my videos or you know anything about me, you know two things about me. One, I talk a lot of crap on Apple computers because of their hostility towards the repair movement. The idea that they think using recycled materials is somehow better for the environment than the ability to reuse old and potentially damaged hardware. Which, I mean, if you think about it, that it's a, it's a crazy concept. If, if you can not waste the energy to recycle something, like by melting down the materials, separating the materials and making a new, the environmental impact of all of that is huge. And just because they use some recycled aluminum in their cases does not negate the landfills filled with old computer parts, which let, let's be real. They, a lot of them end up in the garbage. I love ThinkPads. I don't think of myself as a Lenovo fanboy, and it's not exclusively ThinkPads because there's a series of Dells that are like this, but these are hardware that you can open up and then you can repair pieces. And it's not against the rules to open it up. You don't have to jump through hoops. They literally make it as easy as possible to get inside and do your work. So I'm gonna show you the upgrades I made to the Dell that I use from my day job and of course to make these videos. So we're gonna open up the, this machine that I'm actually recording the video on through my, my webcam. I'm gonna grab my uh, 7.5 millimeter lens. Look how wide that Mamma Jam is. You can see <laughs> it's a very wide lens. I have no I have no way of checking to make sure the focus is good. So your guess is good as mine. So I got my knockoff iFixit kit here. And so I talk a lot about the upgradability of a ThinkPad versus something like Apple hardware. And I figured it's about time I kind of show an example of those upgrade upgradable parts. So, my moose out of the way here. This is all powered up. I'm gonna actually shut the machine down here. Little, little uh, sudo power off. I have to blur that screen. I think there was a client's password on there. <laughs> um, machine is shut down. Okay. And with the little dock, you just unplug the cable. And here is the ThinkPad. This is my machine that does all the work that I do on. Now this one was actually purchased from a friend and unfortunately when he got it to me he was in kind of beat up shape and so I had to replace this bottom panel and some other things to get it working. Um, ooh, these are invaluable. Magnetic bowls. If you do any computer repair getting a magnetic bowl is awesome because it just keeps all the pieces where they're supposed to be. I'm going to lower my chair. There we go. I like to have it closer to the face area. I'm an older dude, so my eyes, they don't work quite like they used to. I think this is going to go one size bigger. We're going to pop off the back and I'm going to show you some of the areas which can be upgraded on, for example, a third gen. Um, ThinkPad X1 Carbon. Older models actually had more upgradability than this one. I, I might be mistaken. This I think this case has, yeah, the case has captive screws. First off, I'm using a regular screwdriver and the back of this case has captive screws. That's, I, I don't open this very often. I kind of forgot about that feature and it's one of the reasons that one's missing. Again, this is kind of Frankenstein together. Here we go. Okay. There we go. That's all it takes to take off the back. That is it. Okay. I don't know how much of this is going to show up on camera here, but um, this whole battery pack actually, this whole battery. This is a third party battery I bought. It did not require flashing any special firmware 
or nothing. I just pop this little cable up here, the little fastener screws to hold it down, swapped it. Brand new battery. I think it sent me back 40 bucks, $40. Um, I'm gonna try to make sure I get close up some of this stuff so you can see better. But here is my crucial uh, one terabyte um, SSD. This is M.2 uh, SATA SSD. Well, when my buddy sold it to me, it came with a 256. I upgraded to the one terabyte. Need that room for work and of course for making videos. And as you can see, it's just like one screw and it folds in. Everything is very accessible. There's a lot of, a lot of dust in here. Um, I probably should clean this in the near future. And the Wi-Fi card. This is an Intel chipset Wi-Fi 6 card that I popped in there. So the crucial SSD cost me about $100. Going from 256 gigabytes to one terabyte, Damn good upgrade. It's, it's, some, it's worth it's worth doing. The Wi-Fi 6 card. The Wi-Fi 6 card was $19. Another excellent upgrade. The Wi-Fi that came with it is a decent AC, but having a little bit of future proof in here, excellent. And again, no no special modified firmware or anything required to do that. The CPU and the RAM, unfortunately, those are soldered to the motherboard. That's, that's that's the price you pay for the super thin size. But comparatively, comparatively to some other pieces of hardware out there like Apple and some HP ones, the fact that this much is both accessible and upgradable. So, I mean, that's, that's phenomenal. I think so the, the battery pack was like 40, 100 for the one terabyte drive and 20 for that. So I'm looking at less than $200 worth of upgrades to get to maximize what I can do with this ThinkPad. And the whole thing is designed to be friendly for me to get in here and do these things. All the components are on this side facing up. I can, I think if I pull out the, the, the screws here and I can pull off the keyboard, it's part of the, the, um, the tabletop. Um, a few screws on the back here you can see and you can disconnect the monitor, it's designed to be worked on, it's designed to be repaired. And that's the big difference between business class hardware and consumer grade hardware. Got a little teeth here in the front. And I just screw this right back in. So now everything's put back together just like it was before. Got the power button here. Got the nice backlit keyboard on this thing, which is phenomenal. Standard with the X1. This particular model has the 1440p touchscreen. And for the record, I am not a fan of a 1440p touchscreen. I'd much rather have a matte finish, higher brightness um, 1080p screen. And I looked into it and I really thought about swapping out. You actually buy the screen itself, disconnect it, the ribbon cable, whatnot and just put the new screen on there. But ultimately at the end of the day, I decided that, you know, I'm just gonna suffer with this right now and I do plan on upgrading in the near future to a newer X1. So, but yeah. And the other incredibly awesome benefit of a ThinkPad is just the magical compatibility with Linux. like. The only ThinkPad I've ever had trouble getting Linux running on was one of those X120 with the old school AMD APUs. Things slower than a Raspberry Pi. Um, but every other ThinkPad I've had is swimmingly, swimmingly. Maybe some problem with certain Wi-Fi chips, but it's usually just a matter of adding the proprietary repo and you're good to go. Close this up. Here, got my little mount. I like that little mount. It's like 11 bucks. Another worthwhile investment is the dock. Put the password in, and we're back on the desktop. Docks, if you don't have a dock for your computer, missing out. Life changer. It changes basically your tiny little laptop 
into a full-blown workstation in the best possible way. Highly recommended. So if you like this video, feel free to thumbs it up. Thumbs it down if you want, but you can thumbs it up too. And if you really like this video, don't forget to subscribe. Um, and let me know in the comments if you want to see more kind of opening up and examining and looking up upgrade paths for hardware. Anyways, guys, catch you on the next one.